Hi, my name is Dimitri, and I hate the fact that I don't have a Mac. <laughs> Thank you. Roll the end screen. Yeah. Thanks, Vinicius, for the edit. You know, here you go. I'm really bad at these. So the problem is anytime I review something that's like, hey, it's like OneNote versus Apple Notes. I don't have a Mac. So a little biased. I'm just going to say it. But at least, you know, from a Windows user's perspective, how it is. First and foremost, I've signed into my iCloud in order to get my OneNote, sorry, my Apple Notes pulled up. And a nice, neat trick to have it pull up as like an application is like you can do with Coda or anything else where you can go create shortcut and then you can go to this Apple notes, check open as window and then press create. And then, wow, I have Apple notes. Oh, it's like, I have, uh, so I have used Apple notes a little bit in my time, but I also have used OneNote a little bit of my time and I don't see the appeal of Apple notes. I'm just going to say it how it is. There's a lot of little things that you can do here, like that I'm just positive that I don't know how to do. That's just kind of how it is, right? You can take new folders here, organize them like this. Let's do an example school notebook. So for example, if I add one in here, I can make a table. I can put checklists. I can change the style of the text. So let's say, for example, let's do marketing 301 notes on 10, 24, 22. Then I can go into typing it like this. We're going to do some example stuff, example stuff, and then, you know, a little table in there. I could even add people to the note and share it with them. That's cool. I can go here to my account settings and you'll see that my iCloud storage is pretty low, but you have the ability to access uh, this stuff and sort of manage your Apple ID and look at different things here and be told that your iCloud storage is full at all times of the day without being able to untick it. But for me, I just feel like this is really simple and that you're really not able to do an insane amount with it. Like I get that here, you know, you can, you can like delete or, or add passwords like I have to this one. Like I've added a password to this one. That's great. I will say the functionality obviously on here is going to be inherently worse than on the Mac. Uh, you're going to be able to add more to Apple Notes when you're on the Mac. But for me, at least OneNote is good across both. I have my coworkers at my job using OneNote from what I can tell due to the functionality that it has. And they're on Macs, uh, at least from a Windows perspective, you know, I can go here and for example if i access my microphone here press dictate this is an example recording and for me i mean that works pretty decent i think dictation is cool but overall i like the layout more i think obviously once again this is a decently biased comparison but even when dealing with this application on your mobile phone or your ipad you know you can write things out in a handwritten format. The overall look and feel of this I think is better because you can add layers of different folders. And I went in on my phone and ended up adding layers of folders as well. So this school one has an extra layer of a folder in here. So you can do the exact same thing here of adding like, for example, a note within this. And then there's another way to just get the overall one here. So we got an example note here and an example note here. So you'll see that the OneNote has similar functionality in the sense that, you know, you have notebooks and you have subsections as well within them. Just more of a fan of the way that this looks hierarchically and the fact that you can just really add a lot of different sections and you can pin those sections and section groups. And I think personally that it works better. And I can even go through these different notebooks much easier in my opinion. Like I even <laughs> used to use Todoist as I even used to use OneNote as my first original task management app, which is just crazy to me. And you can do a lot of the same things as seen on OneNote, but probably a little bit more. So we can add to do's here, which is just hilarious that that's what I used to use before. You can add importance to it. You can add a question mark here. And there's a, a myriad of coloring options that are obviously similar to that what you have on Microsoft Word. So right here, you'll actually see that there is the option to do drawing within OneNote. So if you wanted to take written notes like this, obviously people have Microsoft Service tablets, so this would be very convenient with that. You know, using a cursor isn't always the greatest thing, but on your phone, on the computer, on the Surface tablet, in the sky, in the clouds, you can do drawing very similarly. Now, there's always this thing about, you know, Apple Notes is probably going to feel better with the Apple Pen on an iPad. Kudos to you, Apple, for just winning at aesthetics. But it's just, it's a fact you can also do it on here. And there's a similar amount of 
hip options and colors and whatnot. You'll see that I'm casually drawing this on my phone and while that does look gross, <laughs> I am able to at least do something with it. And on one note, this isn't as smooth and easy. So if I shake this and do a little signature here, at least I'm doing something. D d just d ignore the bad hand rate. Just take the point that I can do I can do something good with this. In my opinion, the bare bones of this conversation is if you're on Windows, just use OneNote. If you want to use the free option, if you're on Mac, use OneNote or Apple Notes. Just know that if for some reason you want to do drawing and things that are, you know, a little bit more a form over function, Apple Notes is good for you. I think there's hilarious memes all across the internet that people talk about like, oh, they get really advanced systems when, in, and you start in Apple Notes and then you go into a really advanced system and then eventually you just come back to Apple Notes like people like Ali Abdel do because that's just the progression of of being alpha omega brain at note taking is eventually you just get back to the simple thing that is Apple Notes. And I think there's something special to how simple Apple Notes is in general. If you have a Windows machine though, don't don't use it. But do do this. And by, by do do, I mean check out the video, just check out my video play, I, I need views.